Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Suni here, in case you didn't know. And I'm finally doing a long-awaited DNA test. Round of applause, people. Round of applause. I am half Asian and half white. My dad is Tibetan and my mom is English. So, just a very strange mix already. So yeah, I'm just rare, I'm unique, I'm quirky. Ew. I just feel like I look very ambiguous. In my life, I have been called Italian, Spanish, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Indian. I've had Indian. Indian's a popular one. Basically, no one can ever really tell where I'm from. I kind of understand because I have somewhat Asian features, but I also have somewhat white features. And I guess when you mix those together, you can end up looking anything, really. But to be honest, I kind of enjoy looking this way because there's not really anyone else who looks like this, which is fun, I guess. I'm going to get hate comments for saying that, aren't I? People are going to be like, No, you look the same as everybody else. You're so boring. You're not special. I'm waiting for the comments. Please bring them. I would love to see them. Growing up looking like this was kind of interesting because I would receive racist comments from white people, but then when I would go to Asian people to seek solace and to find comfort, I would be told that I was white. So as you can see, I had some difficulties finding my identity. I'd never really felt white or Asian. I kind of feel like um, a strange, ambiguous entity that floats around and is just a little bit strange. It is very funny though when people ask me where I'm from because I never know what they're asking. Because some people, especially if I'm in England and people ask me where I'm from, they might be asking which part of England I'm from. But then some people will just be like, where are you from originally? I don't really mind telling people where I'm from. I think it's interesting. I think race is interesting. This is a DNA kit I got. I bought this two months ago when it was on sale and I'm just sitting down to do it now. I do have to, I think, spit into like some capsule and then send this off and it will come back in a month, I think. Now there's actually a slight problem because no DNA tests that I could find actually identify Tibetan DNA. But yeah, we'll just see what happens with the Tibetan DNA. I'm not sure what, what it's gonna come back as. But maybe my parents have been lying to me and maybe I'm not actually Tibetan and we can finally expose it with this DNA kit. And I also think my English side is not gonna be fully English. There's probably some like other European regions in there. I don't know, we'll find out. That's what's exciting about this. For best results, please do not eat, drink, chew gum or smoke for 30 minutes before collecting your DNA sample. Well that's perfect because I haven't done that. So we have these swabs and I need to swab the inside of my cheek and then put it into this vial. I'm actually scared I'm going to mess this up. I wouldn't be surprised if I did. <laughs> Let's start swabbing. We're going to do the same with the other cheek now. Place both files on the cotton pad in the clear plastic bag and close the ziplock. Biohazard and seal the envelope. It's done. So I'm going to post this off. It says to expect the results in four to six weeks and I will go through the results when they come back. Hi guys, I am back. Um, it's been about five weeks or six weeks since I sent everything off. I got the results back a week ago and I couldn't open them because I wasn't at home, I was in China. So I have been dying, dying to open the results. As soon as I got the email, I was with my friend, so I let my friend look at the results and they were very shocked. Their eyes were bulging. That, that's such a weird description, but that's what they looked like. They basically told me that I will be very shocked and it's kind of surprising and unexpected. So I am quite concerned. They didn't tell me any specifics, but I'm just very um, interested now and also slightly nervous. Maybe I, maybe I don't even know who I am. Maybe my whole life has been a lie and maybe that's gonna all be revealed today on camera. For my Caucasian side, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna be surprising. I think it's just gonna be different European regions. Maybe not English, but really how, how different can it be? It's not gonna be anything I don't expect. But I think for my Asian side, I, I have no idea now. I'm kind of scared. I feel like it could be anything. Maybe I'm adopted. I don't know. Who, who am I? I don't know anymore. Where am I from? Is my name even Sunni? My life, is, my life is just a lie. I'm going to view the full estimate of my ethnicity. Uh. What? <laughs> what? 
what does this even mean? Okay, ready to explore your ethnicity. Apparently, my DNA is 57.3% Asian. Of that, 31.7% is East Asian, 19.4% of that is Mongolian, and 12.3% is Chinese and Vietnamese. Then 21.9% is Central Asian, and 3.7% is Nepali. What is going on? So, I'm 42.7% European and 35.9% is North and West Europe with 20.5% being Scandinavian and 15.4% being Irish, Scottish and Welsh and then I'm 3.4% Greek and South Italian and 3.4% Italian. I literally don't know what is going on. I think what might have happened is that my Tibetan DNA has not been matched properly. Um, I don't think my heritage or any of the DNA people, DNA people, can read Tibetan DNA because the population is quite small. So I don't know what I thought would happen, um, but this is not what I thought would happen. But I'm gonna take this with a pinch of salt. Ugh, I'm just very confused by these these results. I don't really know if um, they're reliable. But I guess this just confirms that I am half Asian and half white. I still think that I'm half Tibetan. I just don't know if they've been able to characterize the DNA um, and report it as Tibetan because I don't think you can actually, I don't think Tibetan is a category on this website. But maybe one of my grandparents was Mongolian or maybe they were Chinese or maybe they were Central Asian. I have no idea. This test has really just confused me more than anything else, but I guess it's interesting to see. I didn't know that I was Scandinavian. I also didn't know that I was Irish, Scottish and Welsh. Apparently I'm 0% English. Um, <laughs> I'm 0% English and 20% Scandinavian. Scandinavian includes Sweden, Norway and Denmark. <sighs> okay guys, I have no idea what just went on. I'm really confused, but I, I think it was interesting. Um, I guess I'm still half Asian and half white, so let's just keep that title for now. Um, in terms of the specifics, I really don't know. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> But yes, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry for not posting regularly, regularly recently. I've been quite busy, but hopefully I'll get back into it. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.